Hey, Ignacy Guardia here, Technical Support Manager at PCN3D, and I'm back to tell you all about 3D printer power consumption. Of course, there are a lot of variables when it comes to calculating the true cost of your 3D printing process, but for any manufacturer, it is essential to know the cost per part down to the last detail. So let's start with section one, cost per hour. If we know the cost of energy for one hour, we can easily calculate how much each type of printer part consumes according to its printing time. Let's take the bcn 3 d Epsilon W50 for example, which has a maximum consumption of 840 watts per hour. Let's imagine that we are printing with both extruders and with PHT CF15, which needs to be melted at a higher temperature of 280 degrees, so we are consuming as many watts as possible. So, if we consider that the average price of a kilowatt in Europe in 2021 was around uh, 21 cents per hour, the maximum amount that you will spend with your Epsilon W250 is 18 cents per hour. Now, on the other hand, if we were to print during an up peak hour at around um, 7 cents kilowatt per hour, one hour of printing will cost you a maximum of 6 cents. And keep in mind that these prices will be if the printer was consuming the maximum possible amount of energy. So the electrical cost for a normal print in an Epsilon W50 can be less than 3 cents. Very affordable price if you ask me. Section 2. Calculating your power consumption. In order to do this, there are three things that you need to consider. The first one, the printer model. There are other 3D printers that consume much more than a BCN 3D one, reaching 1700 watts. So having a machine with low energy efficiency could double the electricity cost at around 40 cents per hour. Second one, the filament. Each material needs to be melted at a different temperature. For example, PLA melts at 200 degrees and ABS at 240 degrees. Therefore, printing with PLA instead of ABS will reduce energy consumption. And third one, print speed. While printing faster will significantly reduce the overall energy cost of the part, it will also increase the consumption per hour as the print heads will need more electricity in order to go faster. And finally, section three. We have a few tricks up our sleeves to help you reduce your consumption with BCN 3D printers. By printing in duplication or mirror mode provided by Alex technology, you are printing with two extruders at the same time. Not only does this reduce printing time in half, but it also significantly reduces energy consumption by using the same printing surface, the x-axis moving in the y direction, and the same electronics. Also, make sure you print with the recommended profiles. When you use our bcn 3 d Stratos slicer, you will see that each material has different configurations. These configurations have been studied and tested in our laboratory so that the figures come out perfectly, quickly and efficiently. Our last piece of advice, if your printer is in your home, be sure to print during off-peak hours. We hope this video has helped you figure out how to reduce your power consumption. You can get to know us and our printers better at bcn3d.com. See you soon!